What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John, here from Puma Blah. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 19 video here on Lake Lynn Vale by Stevie. How you guys doing? Welcome. Welcome back. Guys, I know I looked like a complete idiot last Friday's video with the course play issue with the the the, the wagon, the trailer, the, the tipper, the whatever you want to call it. But watch this. We actually have it working now. I'm just saying. Here he comes. Look at that. Look at that. Shout out to Trent and uh, my team speak in Twitch chat. Trent and Zach, as you guys know him in uh, Twitch chat. Uh, after I recorded that video, immediately after I recorded that video, I said, hey, what's the deal with course play? How do I get this to work? And he's like, click that one button, dum dum, basically. He didn't quite say it like that, but I knew what he meant. So basically what the only thing I didn't do was actually click right here and and make the there's a little X right there. Once there's an X right there, then he'll go to him, run the course, beautiful, everything's great. If there's no X, he's not going. Now auger wagons I don't think still work on course play. I'm not concerned. Honestly, a tipper on a tractor for the size of fields that I have, this is this is perfect. This will work. So we're gonna let that go. We're gonna let that finish finish the field. And we're gonna get something else going. Uh comment from the last video was something. Oh, to the effect I looked at comments like an hour ago, and I'm extremely tired. It's Saturday or it's Sunday night. Sunday night. After a long, hot day at the miserable day at the farm, miserable day at the farm. It was so hot, so sticky, so humid, so nasty down there today. Just straight up nasty, guys. That uh, I just, oh man, I came home, took a shower, and crashed. I, I've been, I slept out, and I slept at my computer. I didn't mean to. I was, I was trying to like be productive and start working on this video. I slept at my computer for over an hour. I'm just saying. I did. I didn't want to, but it, it happened. Any wahoozle. Any wahoozles? Baylor's bailing. He's probably going to have a hay bale, grass bale for us first, though. Yeah. Which is fine. Which is fine. And he should go pound out the bales now. And uh, that'll be good to go. But, um, oh, in a future on the farm video, I should, I should give you guys some information about a drone I have. I can definitely do that. I'll give you guys a tour of my case, even that I carry all my stuff in if you really want. Um, there we go. I'm going to pick up the bale and be like, yep, nope, you're straw. All right, so he's good to go on course play now. He should be fine. I quite understand the stopping and starting, but I think that's a course play thing. Not concerned about it. It's fine. So our job for right now is to get these bales out of the way so the combine does not run into them. That is my job now. So let's get to it. Pitter patter, boys. Pitter patter. Let's get at her. Yeah, if we can just use a, a tipper on a tractor. I'm cool with that for harvesting. I really am. I won't even lie to you. We're going to have a ton of bales, by the way. We're going to have a ton of bales. Tons and tons and tons of bales, but that's okay. I just want them out of the unrows so that the combine doesn't get them, which combine's almost done. So, uh, but just the short abbreviated version of what what is my drone? Um, it's the DJI Mavic 2 Zoom, and that's how I'm able to look, get these shots that look like I'm right up on something, and I'm really not <laughs> because of that zoom. I'm just saying it's it's very nice to have. I really really like the zoom function on the drone so very happy with my purchase i purchased it last august i want to say it was last august of 2019 because it was right before we went to the pinkneyville illinois farm show um it was right before we went there so i do have footage from the farm show as well haven't edited any of that haven't even really looked at most of that um, I think my nephew wants to maybe dabble in some video editing. So I think I'm going to turn all that footage over to my nephew. He, I have like a, like a 12 year old, 12 year old nephew, somewhere right around there. Don't quote me if you're watching nephew. I'm sorry. I don't know how old you are. 
uh, but but somewhere around there. And uh, I think he wants to dabble in some editing. So if he comes up with something, I'll put it out there. I'm just saying, I think it'd be kind of cool. So yeah, there's a lot of footage, a lot of, a lot of what I would describe as bad footage too, where it's like shaky camera, shaky, or I don't know. Cause like, I wasn't the only one filming that day. We had, we had cameras in like many, many people's hands that day. Uh, cause I had my GoPro there. My buddy Zach had his GoPro. So I was filming, he was filming. My cousin was filming. My brother was filming for us. And, uh, yeah, we just, we just had a lot of, a lot of different people doing it. So things are, uh, interesting. Let me put it that way. When you actually look at some of that footage, so. But it's all good. So yeah, I think my nephew is going to do that. Maybe coming out. I don't know when. I got to get him the footage. There's like, I don't know, 60 or 80 gigs worth of footage. And uh, so it's going to require like an external hard drive type thing, you know. Not even maybe a thumb, big thumb drive or a hard drive. Something. Something. They're going to have to come to the house basically and get it. So um, that will happen eventually. I can't can't upload that much to him, you know. I could, but that would take me forever since I pretty much upload around the clock between YouTube and uh, streaming. Anyway, any hoozles, um, the farm, I was going to talk about the farm a little bit. Cause I love talking about the farm. Love it. Love talking about the farm. Oh, there was a big comment about course play stuff. Thanks for that uh, as well. That, like comments call at 80% and stuff like I, it's, it's been, it's been such a while since I've used uh course play. To be completely honest that uh you just kind of forget that stuff you know and uh i don't want to say it's like riding a bike but it's it's slowly coming back it is it is very slowly coming back to me i'm not gonna lie i used a, a wheel the other day playing fs i used a wheel the other day on saturday's uh stream the 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 first part saturday stream got interrupted because i had to mow mow day as as we say um so the first part of it, I used a wheel and boy, that's like, that's a different world. I used to use a wheel. I used to use the side tech wheel. And, uh, then I went to keyboard when that wheel crapped out basically. And, uh, I've been keyboard keyboarding ever since. And I, I like my keyboard. I think I'm going to stick with keyboard. I, I like the wheel. The only issue that I have using the wheel is I have to sit so far from my computer that it's like. I, I can't see my monitors like I, I know that might sound bad but like you know the the inspector or whatever it is up there in the top left that text is not very big and uh if I'm sitting like a foot and a half farther away sometimes I just have I have I have a hard time I'm not even gonna lie I think it's just get if I would get used to it that would be part of it you know but I like where where I'm sitting so it's all good but uh the farm uh, we went to the farm today. It was Sunday, obviously for me, uh, recording this video. It's still Sunday. It's only 11 PM. I'm, I'm ahead of the game tonight recording this video. And, uh, it was miserable down there. Absolutely miserable. Humidity is up in the, uh, 60, 70% range, 90, 90 plus degree air temperature, heat index of, uh, oh, a hundred or a bit, a little bit over a hundred. I think it was just absolutely miserable so it was great we replanted pumpkins my uh my nephew my two-year-old nephew uh we we he was out there with us you know out there with us with his sun hat on just chilling in the in the pumpkin patch and uh my buddy zach was actually there and zach was like hey nephew didn't call him his name you know he's like you want to help and and my nephew's all about helping two years old that kid he will help you. Let me tell you. And, uh, okay, I'm going to skip this bail. No, come on. It's done. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Never mind. I say I was going to skip ahead and go for once. I think I mind it, but it doesn't matter. And, uh, anyway, so my, my two year old nephew, he, uh, we, we today. Okay. So we got, we actually got rain. We got an inch and a half of rain overnight uh, last night. And sometime this morning, I'm guessing it rained, which would be Sunday, you know, yesterday for you guys. But uh, the farm was wet. Not going to lie, we planted pumpkins in standing water today. Now, that water is probably evaporated, not evaporated, but soaked in by now. And uh, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. 
Uh, if they come up, they come up. If they don't, well, that's fine. We can, we have more seed. We can replant. There's still time. There's still time to replant. If they're not up in a week, we'll replant. But um, so my my buddy Zach, who I'm, I think he watches the videos, but he he asked my nephew if he wanted to help, and nephew was all about it. So what we were actually doing instead of putting that like mud back on top of them, we had a little bit of like potting soil that was dry, and we. Uh, we would dig, dig the little hole in the dirt for the seed and uh, sprinkle a little potting soil on top of the seed and then kind of, you know, pat it down with your hand or a rake or your foot just a little bit, you know, kind of firm it up a little bit. And uh, so my, my two-year-old nephew was covering up the seeds for us and uh, he would take his little foot and we go gentle and he would just tap, tap with his foot. It was... It was like the cutest thing ever. I'm just saying like it was, I, I don't say cute very often, but like it was the cutest thing ever. So yeah. And his, his dad was right there, like taking uh, pictures and video. So of course I can't show them to you guys. I'm not, you know, not going to do that, but it was the, uh, it was the cutest darn thing ever. I'm just saying $22,089. So it'll probably be a little bit less cause we had a, we had a silage bale there. Or a haylage bale as well so that's not terrible you know for it being a free product that's on our field which we'll probably do i don't know what our field's in what crop is our, our fields and soybeans yeah never mind we're not doing our fields because soybeans you can't but um it was it was like the most adorable thing ever a little guy out there just getting it with all of us and having a good time man he was having a great time down there in fact, he was bummed when they had to leave. He was starting to get too hot, so they had to they had to skadoodle home. It was it was getting too hot for uh, for a little guy. So there is that. He needed a ride in the air conditioning, if nothing else. But yeah, he was he was getting he was getting too hot, so he had to uh, he had to get heading home so that he didn't get overheated. Cause it was awful down there. I'm just saying, it was awful. Just absolutely awful down there. So, yeah. Well, at least we know where all the bales are going to go. To the bottom of the field. And there's actually a clip I want to film for an up the next on the farm. Um, I said, I'm going to film something Tuesday. I had an idea earlier tonight. Um, and actually, there's another idea where I'll, I'll get the drone out and show you guys. And I'll show you guys the case that I, uh, I have this really cool case. I got it at Sam's Club a couple years ago. And... It, it carries all the stuff. Everything I need's in there pretty much. So it's either in there or I do have a little, like I have, I have, I have one thing in dad's truck that I, uh, that I kind of take with me all the time. But, um, yeah, that'd be a power inverter because you never know. You might need to charge drone batteries on the go or drone controllers or whatever, you know, sometimes it happens guys. Sometimes it happens. In fact, I can't even tell you guys the last time I charged. We're just going to park this over here under the shade tree, by the way. I can't even tell you the last time that I actually parked, not parked, charged my drone, like in the house. Because I just don't do that. I charge it in the truck. Like, I know that might sound really strange to say, but. I can't actually remember the last time I charged it in inside my house. I charged the batteries on the, on the way to and from the farm. Cause like a battery will pretty much charge. Like it doesn't say it's not, it doesn't quite charge fully from like my house to the farm. But if we're like, say on a Sunday morning, we go get breakfast and sit in the truck and eat. And back when it was in the spring, you know, cause obviously with the Rona, we can't go like into Hardee's and eat our breakfast. We sit in the truck, but in the spring we would like, you know, roll the windows down. But now it's, it's too stinking hot for that. And, uh, we just, we just leave the air on, of course. So same thing with lunch, but, uh, yeah, if we're doing something like that, then the <laughs> battery will charge. I'm just saying. So yeah, I just, I just run a power inverter in dad's truck. Dad's truck does have, he has a, a 2019 Ram and it, it does have a outlet in the dash. But I've never used that for the drone. 
I think one time I charged it, but then the charger's like in your cup holder and I just run a uh, power inverter off the, the rear, like 12 volt. It's, um, God, what is that? Like a 300 watt power inverter. I've had the thing forever. I initially bought that. God, I don't remember when I bought that. I've had that thing forever though. I think I bought it when I bought my GoPro because I wasn't sure like what kind of battery life to expect out of a GoPro. And so I bought that in case I needed to charge like mobily, you know, that's what it was. I think it was for a Pinkneyville farm show, honestly, because yeah, I bought that GoPro for the farm show. So I was a little nervous about having to charge because GoPro batteries aren't, aren't the best. They're okay. They're not the best, but that's all right. It is what it is, right? All right. One more round around the field guys, and then we'll just be going up, down, up, down. Actually, we could just let all the bales roll downhill. Probably won't, but I could. I'm just saying I could. I'll probably finish this up off uh, off recording for you guys because it's going to be the same thing for the next, like, you know, ever and then some. So there is that. Uh, probably going to replant this in something. I don't know. I guess you guys... What should we plant in both fields next go around? We have soybeans in the other field right now. I would like to sell crop and buy another field uh, before we pass time. Assuming prices or anything. I don't even I haven't looked. I don't even know what good prices are on this map. So I would like to sell crop and buy a field. And then you guys tell me, what do you want planted? What shall we plant? Obviously not a root crop. Okay. Obviously not root crop because we don't have root crop stuff and we're like broke. So broke at $119,000. You know what I mean? Relatively broke. So there's that. Let me know in the comments down below. What shall we plant? Because uh, the next video will probably be us hauling. And hopefully buying a field. I don't know what field. That's the other one. What what field should we shoot for? As well. I'm thinking like 20 or 11 or 21. Something like that. Maybe 22. I don't want to travel too far. Maybe 6. I know we own 6. Maybe 7. Is 7 a field? Or do we have to buy... It's 7 and 8. And that's like $900,000. 940. So there's that. Right, one more bill, bud. One more bill. Hey, that John Deere 40, 48, 40 looking sharp on that baler, right? Looking sharp, sounding better. Love it. Plenty to pop, plenty of power to pull that baler around, which is exactly what I wanted that tractor for. I wasn't really intending on using it in these fields to bale straw, but Hey, why not? Right? If we can put away, you know, 20 grand every load here. I'm okay with that. You know, we have all the equipment, all the equipment's paid for. So we might as well use it, right? Might as well use it. Oh, anyway, the, uh, back to the farm. Man, facing out today, guys. It's, it's sorry. The, uh, clip I want to film at the farm. I want to film. Well, I'm going to film a clip about the drone and stuff. But I want to film a clip in the grain bin about the snowman project from last year. You guys, you know, in that first on the farm, the first on the farm back, I should say, episode 169. Um, the snowman project. I, I did, didn't did catch a lot of flack. I, I will be fair and say that. Okay, C17-4, because we didn't have the haylage bill. Uh, I didn't catch a lot of flack about my welding. Which, if you guys don't know, I'm completely self-taught. I, I watched a couple YouTube videos and I was like, yeah, I got this. Why not? I've not welded anything that's super, like, structural yet. I mean, I guess I've done some stuff. We, we've lots of little projects at the farm, you know? A couple things have been... Yeah, I got, well, like, my Velky. That, that was all. That's pretty structural. Structural. You know what I mean? 
but uh we're not doing a lot of like high quality high end welding here you know what i'm saying <laughs> nothing too crazy but um yeah, so I want to I want to film and be like, see, look, they they're still still there, they work just fine. <laughs> like I said, I know. In fairness, like I said, I I didn't catch that much beef over it, because I think you guys understand. Like, I'm not a welding expert, you know. I I definitely don't claim to be, and uh, not at all. So, not even for a second will I ever claim that. So, there's that. But I have fun with it, and and. Yeah, Dad and I were talking, because in that video, I, I was talking, you know, I said that, like, we wanted to rebuild them, which is true. We do want to rebuild them. We're a little on the fence about rebuilding them, to be honest, but I think for the display, it would be best if we rebuilt them. Now, what I would actually do is I would keep the ones that we've already made, and I think I would actually cut the arms off of them, which I know sounds cruel, but then we would just have good snowmen, you know, just straight up snowmen and my buddy Casey lives next door and for those of you that have seen my display in past years you guys will know I put an OMG sign with an arrow pointing like it flashes OMG and then an arrow like points towards my yard and I cannot tell you a how many people have wanted to purchase that sign and b how many people they say that's the favorite part of my display is the thing in my neighbor's yard. Okay. They're like, oh, he's so clever. And I'm like, yeah, it's mine. I put it there because I did. <laughs> and uh, so what I think I want to do, because that's the only thing in his yard is a sign that says OMG and then flashes towards my yard uh, or shines an arrow. So what I think I want to do, and this is actually his idea of all things, not going to lie. Take those snowmen, the existing ones, the ones we built last year, Cut the arms off of them. Obviously, you reclaim the lights for something else, you know. And because uh, they're LED lights, I'm not just gonna like throw them in the trash because they're 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 still good. Um, they all have hot glue on them though, but they're all still good. So, basically, reclaim those lights for whatever, and um, put the snowman over in his yard, one on each side of the OMG sign, and that way they'll have a, a there won't be any like light behind them so you'll be able to see them a lot better so i think that's what we might do so we'll just like repurpose those snowmen and then build new ones for in my yard that's i know what i'm thinking but i'm not really sure uh but we were joking about getting an air conditioner for the shop at the farm because <laughs> he's like he was wanting to start working on these things like soon which I agree with. We we do need to wrap up a few other projects first. Look, I'm trying to make the combine look good here, okay? Um, we need to wrap up some other little little projects we have going on. And then, you know, start a big project like that. Because it's, it's time consuming. But with it being so hot and humid, it's like, man, I just... I don't see doing it. And I was like, we could just get an air conditioner for the shop. <laughs> at the farm. It'd be so nice. <laughs> just saying. Even if it knocks it by 20 degrees... Or, 10 degrees in there. I'd be okay with 10 degrees and take a bunch of humidity out right away. Man, I'd be... I'd be tickled as a peach with that, you know? But I think it would do it would do better than that. But uh, I was like, man, that'd be great. <laughs> you know, our, our shop in the shed is not a whole shed. It's not insulated at all. But, you know, we can keep it nice and warm in the winter. Why can't we cool it down in the summer, right? Just a little bit? Anything's better than nothing. That's kind of my theory, right? Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here and get this video edited up for you guys, rendered and uh, uploaded. And uh, yeah, make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure. I should have talked about this in the start of the video. You guys are watching this on Monday. You guys are watching this Monday. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Poomplot. Links in the description. Okay, links in the description and the second YouTube channel. Links also in the description for that. So if you miss what I'm about to talk about, it will be on the second channel eventually. Having some issues with the second channel. Not so much the channel, but with the YouTube uploader. Uh, anybody that uploads videos to YouTube, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This YouTube uploader that they've made us go to is just awful. That's another story for another video. That's a podcast topic, I feel like. Podcast is coming down the pipe very soon, guys. We have started... 
kind of some pre pre planning we'll call it pre uh pre-production how about that We'll we'll go with pre-production has started on the podcast um coming very soon hopefully hopefully very soon guys like soon okay anyway the uh the stream guys if you guys are watching this monday the stream tonight okay on the 29th june 29th we are finally going to play flashing lights it is a police fire and ems simulator we will be only doing the the fire uh because like the police in the in the ems is like it's crazy what you have to do and i don't know it i've played flashing lights on my youtube before um never played it in multiplayer until actually last night for me and we we were basically going in like hey let's test this out we don't know how multiplayer works let's figure it out two hours later we're like hey one more call guys let's go two hours before we knew it there were like six or eight of us in there though it was fantastic i think there were six of us at, no i bet there was eight of us at one time anyway there was a bunch of us and we were having so much fun so monday night chat comment section y'all you and uh monday night we're gonna be playing flashing lights on stream finally we've been talking about it for uh a year and a half because we were actually gonna play it right before my mom got really sick actually no that's been longer than a year no, i guess we were gonna play it before she passed right yeah that's what it was we were gonna play it right before she passed and then i just never got like literally the wednesday before she uh she passed we were gonna play it that night and i just never got back to it until the other day and and they've updated that game a couple times and it's really good stuff you can customize all your lights on your truck which we'll probably do on stream and then get into it and it's going to be great. So make sure you guys tune in for that. Like I said, it will also be on the second YouTube channel eventually. Uh, links in the description for both of those. If you guys haven't hit up that second channel yet, please do so. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate you for doing that. But guys, I think that's where we're going to go ahead and call it here after uh, all the shameless promotion. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to comment what you guys want me to plant in the fields and what field should we uh, go for next? both of those in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, a toodles.